Hey guys, welcome back. This is me, Abhishek, and today's video is very, very important video. If you are a YouTuber, you upload videos on YouTube, you upload videos on social sites. So this is the best, very important video for you. One of my subscriber asked me whenever they screen record any type of videos or they simply record by using phone, camera or somewhere. The, after rendering, before rendering, the file size becomes, uh, the file size used to be... Uh, 50 to 60 MB, but after the fame file size becomes uh, even 500 MB. File size becomes two to five times larger with the same video quality. I'm discussing how can we manage that. I'm telling, I'm showing you a demo. Uh, just have a look on this. I recorded this video by using my screen recorder. So this is my sample video and you can see the video length is 26 seconds and the file size is almost uh, 2 MB and after rendering you can see the same video the same video of the same uh, video length becomes 38 MB and now after rendering what i did uh, i render by using some setting on sony vegas by using some setting on sony vegas and the same video of uh, so this is my sample video so the same video of 26 second i reduced the file size to 1.8 mb and you can see the video uh, quality has been not compromised you can see Look at this. CPU means it's using CPU. Look at this. Video quality is not compromised. Audio is perfect. Frame rate is perfect. But file size has reduced. So today we're gonna discuss how I did that, and I'm suggesting you my best video render setting for Sony Vegas. You can use for other video editing tool as well because the terminology will be same. What you have to reduce, what you have to increase in setting. They all will be same in every video editing software. So let's get started. I have come in my uh, Sony Vegas uh, Pro 17. I am using 17th version, but doesn't matter. You can use any version. Doesn't matter. So what I have doing, I'm just uh, importing a video which I have recorded by using my screen recorder. Uh, here I have just selected the video. This is Bandicam. Uh, video which I have just this is raw video which I have just screen recorded and okay I'm opening it right so uh, suppose you have done every your editing and now uh, you have come to the part where we render okay so what we do uh, we go to this setting this setting project video properties click on this and take a decision like what quality of video you just want to export go with 1080 okay just don't worry for file size it will be as much as lower with the best quality okay so i'm using my 1080 don't worry file size will not be increased don't worry just go for 1080p and i'm using 29 fps uh, again it's 30 fps so you cannot just put somewhere like you can't do this you can't do this like 45 as a, as a selecting any random fps you can't do that you have to select um, from these options which i already have given okay i'm using 29.97 fps okay then what you're gonna do is uh, come over 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 and yes you have to resample mode you have to disable it de interlace method you have to just known because what it does de interlace method does when you are adjusting your fps and real video fps is low and you are rendering it at higher fps then then only we use de interlace method so i am uh, selecting as known motion blur type keep it as gaussian and full resolution rendering quality you have to keep it as best okay and start all new project with these settings you so every time whenever you import something you really don't need to do again and again that's why i just tick this uh, check mark so go on audio and you really don't need to do with anything audio because audio uh, audio file size 
is not doesn't depend like doesn't matter uh, audio uh, used to be very compressed so you really don't need to deal with audio okay just apply it and click on okay and just click on the property just to confirm and everything is going to write so you have to just again put on the disable resample and uh, then you have to go in the media and then mm, general okay everything is done you just had to do just disable resample okay now you can see videos video same now the rendering part is the real trick is start from here just go on the render as and um, you might have on this option you might have on this option just what you have to select come with magix avc aac mp4 okay now suppose your computer have any gpu it could be amd or uh, uh, nvidia or intel so you have to just select the gpu's version like i have i have in my computer in my system i have amd uh, gpu that's why here i am showing amd vc amd in, uh, encoding engine so that's why i will select only those option with gpu so here i am selecting 1080 since i have i told you that i will render this video in 1080 quality so I'm using internet HD 1080p, 1080p 29.97 fps now customize template okay at this stage it's showing my 26 second video will be 38 MB so you what do you have to do you have to customize okay so what we gonna do uh, we have to just don't do with any option here uh, don't even check mark this button profile as main keep it as uh, it was and frame rate you have to keep at 29.97 uh, because we have selected the property so we are not changing any frame per second i will keep it as 30 and then uh, pixel aspect ratio don't play with this it's just video pixels it's not the uh, frame size or something like that so it's it doesn't mean that your video will be square it's just pixel uh, pixel size you know in a video i will have uh, 1080p pixels so that's why that this is the size of pixels don't need to play with this okay and then and the trick part is you have to keep it as variable bitrate and here you will see there is 12 mbps right i, I will just explore explain this more this is here 12 mbps so this decide your file size okay this decide your file size you can't just uh, edit from here so you have to uh, change this i'm changing eight uh, this is 12 mbps um, i will keep at 2 mbps that's why i'm selecting 2 mbps and the maximum bps i will keep it as 10 mbps right and now go on encode i'm using my amd vc i have told you preset you have to change the preset at low latency and high quality so the rendering will be uh, as high quality as your original video was and then i'm not uh, just don't do anything okay uh, so uh, preset you have to keep low latency and high quality and vbr is latency constraint okay now come up uh, come on audio so audio you can really decrease but again i told you that audio file size doesn't matter you can keep it as maximum uh, audio file so go on the system and then go on the project and here project on video rendering quality it must be best and don't need to play with these options okay again i'm telling you what i have done i have uh, frame size i have already selected uh, uh, f f frame rate i have already selected and pixel expect ratio you really need not to change this and what you have to change you have to change variable bitrate uh, average you have to keep as 2 mbps and you can again you can uh, decrease the file size with original length by just uh, decreasing these uh, bps you can use 384 mb or something like that but i'm using 2 mbps so right now i'm using 2 mbps you can either use 38 kbps or something like that or 76 kbps so right now for sure i'm using 2 mbps and maximum bps i'm keeping as a 10 mbps <coughs> whatever file size if you are not satisfied with the output file size just play with these two uh, two numbers and 
and preset you have to keep it as low latency high quality and vbr just have latency constraint and then i have changed the project video rendering quality as best and just click on ok it's showing me my file estimated file size is 6 mbps which was earlier uh, 38 mb and here you can see uh, the changing is the 2 mbps it's showing here and pixel art this is all the summary of my this uh, template okay so i will uh, name this file as my best render okay i'm setting as best and now render it and wait until it finish wait until it finishes and now we will uh, i will show you what changes we get by using these settings there is no compromises and there is uh, the video quality is not compromised at all open folder you will see best render is comes with 1.94 mb now let's play this so this is my sample video which we're gonna work on and uh, okay as you can see here uh, my audio is 192 kbps and video is s264 cpu okay as you can see the video quality has not been compromised at all the same video quality i am keeping the same every video quality i am keeping the texture same texture same sound i am keeping everything same but now my file size has been even uh, compressed oh my goodness i have just opened this many times so i have to close okay as you can see the my real video uh, file size was 2.23 and now after rendering it comes up uh, 1.94 mb and even with the same quality okay this is the perfect video setting uh, you can apply these setting on every video editing software i told you the best terminology i told you all those terminology i explained how d interlace works and everything so just keep stick to those options which you really have to change and keep everything as default so this is all about this video and please share and subscribe this video if uh, you are if you have any question please uh, do me on comment write me on comment i will definitely uh, reply you and again i'm telling you that all those terminology if you follow you can uh, use these terminology on every video editing software because this is science this is not a trick this is not anything this is science which you have to understand okay uh, thanks for watching this video please share and subscribe and subscribe my channel if you come uh, the first time if you came the first time please do share and subscribe all these yes and